our topic today is what to do when, as a writer, you're too attached to your characters. I hope you have something to drink that you enjoy and a few minutes to chat with me. Today, I'm drinking Georgia peach tea. And for those of you who know, know that I have a series called uh, Georgia Peaches, I think you'll get a kick out of that. Writers sometimes get too attached to a character. And sometimes most of your readers fall in love with your characters also. But this is never true 100% of the time. This is where we really rely on our ARC readers to read our books fast prior to publication and tell us the truth. And if they find a problem, they'll let me know. And that's what we want. I recently had one ARC reader feel one of my heroines had not changed enough by the end of the book. So, I kid you not, most of the time... We writers, we have this idea in our head, and we know our story and our storyline. And so my reaction was like, didn't you read the four clues? Like, you must have missed the four clues. Like, that's just absolutely not true. So <laughs> I was just completely defensive. Um, I just had tunnel vision about my character. So... Uh, I had to totally step back, and over the next few weeks, <laughs> I had to ask myself really hard questions. Um, and so, and this was even more complicated because the book had already published, and this ARC reader had not had a chance to read the book prior to publication, which is ideal because then our ARC readers can contact us right away and we can fix the problem before the book publishes. But since that didn't happen... So, since the book had already published, um, in the end, I decided in the next book, I would definitely try to nail down or hammer this particular character's transformation. And I think that was a great way to resolve this because, number one, I valued the ARC reader's opinion. She, she's been with me for a really long time, and she loves all my books. And so, uh, she's been very valuable to me. And here was just one character that she wasn't so in love with. So, I felt like in the end when I stepped back, there was something which was telling me. And I thought, what well, if there are other readers that feel the same way? I need to fix this. And that's what you want to do when you have any type of, like, truthful and constructive criticism. Uh, especially from an art reader. And not every review is truthful. Not every review is honest. There are some reviews out there that you just have to take with a grain of salt. Let it roll off your back. You did the best you could with your book. You like your book. You're happy with the way it turned out. Um, and you, you know, learn from what you can on a review. But if it's just not true, just move on. But in the end, I decided, okay, in the next book, I'm going to nail this down about this character's transformation. And I think in the end that makes it better because who among us transforms instantly? It's usually a little here and a little there in real life. So I felt that by putting it in the next edition of the series, the character's transformation would be a, a much tighter and it would be realistic as well. But anyways, we love hearing from our ARC readers and reviews that tell us about uh, what you loved. But we especially need to know, and especially if you're an ARC reader and the book hasn't published yet, we value when you tell us the honest truth about something that we can fix before the book gets to market. In this case, it wasn't before, but I had a solution. I was able to come up with one. We writers, we get so attached, and I have to laugh at my reaction and uh, just, you know, enjoy the journey. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in with me. Have you ever had a strong reaction to something that you didn't like about a book and you 
had to contact a writer. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. You might want to be gentle and let them know about your thoughts in a gentle way and let them down easy because we are so easily attached to our characters. Thanks for tuning in with me today. Have a great week ahead.